Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and we're doing something really different for my channel today. I'm going to show you how I flip and how I finish the inside of a ColourPop box. So if you're a ColourPop fanatic like me, if you've ever ordered from them, you know you get these really cool prints on the inside of their boxes. I really like to flip the cool print inside out and then add like a paper liner and these boxes, they make great gift boxes. I like to use mine to store like sheet masks and other extra things that I don't need out on my vanity. So I'm gonna show you how to flip the box and how to finish the inside. So what I'm working with are the small boxes and I will give you the dimensions for the five pieces of paper that you need to cut. Just keep in mind, this is just for the small box. They do have bigger boxes and each box is a little bit different. So you kind of want to make sure that you check your paper and make sure that it fits your particular box because every box is a little bit different. So this is what the box looks like to start with and it's really easy there's no tape or anything to cut you just pop the sides open and then you can flip the box flat so the side of the box just pops out there's a little slot and you can pop it out of the, that little slot in the bottom and then it just folds flat once you do that to both sides you get a flat box like this now that your box is flattened you need a few things to finish your project you need some paper I'm using this like heavy duty scrapbooking paper. You also need a pencil, a ruler, some scissors, and some kind of adhesive. I'm using these glue dots that I've used for scrapbooking. I like them because they don't cause any wrinkles or ridges in the paper like glue might. You could also use a glue stick or a double sided tape, but this is what I have, so that's what I'm using. I'm going to put the dimensions for each piece of paper that you need up on the screen and I'm also going to put it in the description box so don't feel like rushed that you have to hurry and write them down now. Just click in the description box, they'll be right there for you. And I just want to remind you that each box is a little bit different because of the way it's folded together. There may be a little slight bit of difference here and there for the measurements. Just make sure that you test your paper before you glue it down. You can definitely get creative with this project. I decided to stamp some designs on the bottom portion of my paper for my box. You could decoupage, you could put stickers, you can draw something. You can really just put your own twist on this. This design was really easy. I just used like a 99 cent foam stamper from Hobby Lobby, put a little acrylic paint on it and stamped it and let it dry. Once you have your paper cut, you just want to test it on the spot where it's going to be adhered to make sure that there's no puckering and that it's not in the way of any of the folds. And then you just add your adhesive to the back and then stick it on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put all the paper on the correct spots and then I'll show you what the finished product looks like and show you how to refold the box. And that's really it. That's it for the super simple ColourPop box DIY. I think the little print on the bottom is super cute surprise. I really love the way that this stamping detail turned out. It was super easy. Trust me, I know that it looks like some sort of skill was needed for this, but it really wasn't. This one, the pink print underneath, I smudged it and that's why I added the white one over top to try and cover up my mistake. And I think it ended up looking really cool. I love reusing these boxes. I love seeing them in my beauty room or in my bathroom. They just make me happy and I love the different prints that ColourPop comes up with. So I'm glad to not waste this beautiful ColourPop art.
The possibilities are truly endless with how you want to design and decorate your box. You can add embellishment to the outside, you could paint the inside, you can add photos, stickers, you can add ribbons. I just think that it's really fun and easy way to get creative and to recycle a box. So if you guys decide to create your own DIY ColourPop boxes, definitely tag me on Instagram, tag me on Twitter. I really want to see what you come up with. And I know that you guys are just full of so many awesome ideas and your creativity really inspires me. So if you have any more ideas of DIY things like this that you want to see me do, I would love to give it a shot. So please leave in the comments so that I can check out your ideas. Don't forget to check the description box for a list of all the materials and also all the dimensions of the pieces of paper that I used to line my box. I hope you enjoyed this. I really hope it was helpful and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Boxes, they make great good. Great good. The struggle. I said it was really easy and now I can't get mine now. Before you Okay, try not to get a paper cut and bleed all over your ColourPop box. There's no puckering or make, and it, they just, I'll see you. You could put some googly eyes on here and like have a little fern. Hello. ColourPop, I am your father. What? Sun is burning my ear. Do you see that? I'm like getting an ear sunburn right here. If I put the blinds down, then I have like stripes on my face. DIY stripe face tutorial. Nobody's gonna watch that. <laughs>